Hey everyone, hope everybody's doing good. Long time no speaky. Anyways, I wanted to go over, I was at a customer's yesterday, and I wanted to talk about these, these photo eyes, and how these photo eyes can make you think that you're going insane. These are the LiftMaster commercial photo eyes. They pretty much come with every LiftMaster commercial opener. They're the generic, standard, go-to photo eyes. These photo eyes have flaws. And the flaws can be very challenging. For instance, they can just randomly go bad. And the worst part about them is when they, they go bad, it's not like they just shut off and don't work. They come up with these little glitches, you know, like this light will blink. I mean, sometimes you got to get right on your belly and look right at them and they freak out. And in this next clip uh, where I was at the job site, you'll see here coming up. Um, it was basically, that's what I was doing. It was, it was flickering. I totally threw, threw a dart and assumed it was a photo ice. Now, the kicker is, which I didn't get video of, was um, one of the technicians showed up. And I was like, you know what? I said, why don't you change those things out? It'd be a good learning opportunity to see if that's the problem. And then also, um, I'll just let the customer know that I ended up fixing it for them because they were so generous for us to use their um, facility. Um, and it's, a, it's, a one of those, it's just one of those jobs. You got the bathroom. It's a beautiful scenery there. You got all the amenities that you want, uh, you know, fridge, everything. I mean, there's just, there's, you know, spots to wash your hands. It's just the perfect job site. So they're very kind to let us get inside and have access. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna fix their photo eyes. And I just wanted to know. So come to find out, he ended up, um, he had a pair on his truck. He put them on and mind you, it was a little bit of a challenge because somebody didn't leave any pigtails on them. You know, when they curly, you know, curly them up. So he was like out of room, basically. He had to stretch it as far as he could, besides the point. Anyways, so he ended up uh, changing them and uh, I was out working on the gate and so he came out and he goes, yeah, he goes, you know, it must be the sunlight. And I'm thinking the sunlight, the sun's on the other side of the building. Like there's no way sunlight should be affecting this. And I, I was like, are you sure? And he goes, I put a new set on there. He's like, it acted a little bit better. That's the thing, right? A little bit better, but it's still doing it. So now he's got me intrigued. I'm intrigued. I'm like, well, I'm like, should we try another set of photo eyes? And he's like, I guess, you know, so I ended up. I found some in my trailer, which by the way, have been in there probably for about three to four years now, bouncing around, getting trashed. I mean, it was, they were literally sitting in the bottom of a bucket. You know what I mean? I pulled them out. Their bag was half ripped open. I'm like, well, I'm like, it's better than nothing. And he wanted to put those, um, is it CP3s, uh, the black ones, you know, the nicer ones. And we just didn't have them. So I was like, well, try these again. He puts a second pair on there and it works. And I've ran it uh, yesterday, I ran it today because I had to go back there and it has no problems now. So it's just it's just one of those tedious things that you can be chasing with these photo eyes. I've also had problems with these photo eyes that if you, I've, I actually bought the LiftMaster wire that they recommend from the manufacturer and I've ran their wire and the wire is not good enough uh, on long distance like on, you know, like a 12 by 14 door, let's just say. Anything is you know bigger, the wire can be crucial on these. So a lot of times we run that 18, 18 two, I think it is shielded. It's just we just carry shielded just because I don't know if you got to run the shield on it or not. But we run 18 two wire on these things because that pretty much takes care of any kind of glitch. So you know you got good wire. You know that these photo eyes are, like I said, rolling the dice. You just don't know. But I just wanted to tell you a little bit about these photo eyes. Some of the problems. Sunlight can be an issue too. Now I've heard people rotating them. Uh, I'm not experienced enough to say that's 100% works. I've seen people put shields on them. I personally just don't like them. My technicians finally learned it too. And he says, why don't we just upgrade them every time we get an opener? And I would agree. We need to upgrade them. I wouldn't even, if I had my choice, I would never install these ever again because they just leave me stranded so many times. And they're such a pain to try to diagnose to, you know, like I said, when we already did the first pair, I kept thinking, well, maybe it's in the circuitry. Now I don't know if it's in the wiring. Maybe it's in the wiring too. How how deep does this rabbit hole go? Oh my gosh. And the problem was, it was really just the photo eyes. They were the, so he said, that's kind of weird too, because he says, 
he ordered his from Service Spring. He said his were only a couple months old. And I'm thinking mine were sitting in my, my trailer for three years, bounced around, getting beat up. So this goes to show you, just because they're new and fresh, doesn't mean they're any good. So <clears throat> if you ever struggle with these photo eyes, just remember, Uncle Dave says, eh, eh you want at least, and then if you ever got to go to a job, make sure you bring two pairs, maybe even three, because you just don't know. Or just go to those, I think it's the CP3s, I can't remember. You guys know. You look, look it up. It's the ones that have the red eyes on them, they're rubber, they're really nice. Those ones I've never had problems with. Those always work. So anyways, to the clip. So we're out here working on this gate job and uh, we just had somebody pull in and I wanted to make sure um, they actually knew the customer that was here. So I was a little bit nervous. So I came up here to shut the man door. So they got to use the code to get in. And I thought, well, I'll just stick my stuff out the, I'll stick my stuff right out the garage door here. You know, all our cords and, and water. But I wanted to show you something about these photo eyes. So we did not do this install at all, and I was I was kind of eyeing it up to see who did, and uh, I noticed something here. Got a big old cobweb there, but uh, these photo eyes are always junk. I, I I never have good luck with these photo eyes; they always go bad. Um, but I, I look at that bracket. That's kind of cool. I never seen it done that way. Um, so I just think that's kind of interesting to see that. Um, but they're not working. Unfortunately, I had to hold the button down to. Uh, make it and, and and it's one of those things i'm not really here for the i'm not the garage door guy uh you know i am the garage door guy but i'm not the guy the garage door guy for this job and uh they're they're sitting there blinking away so i'm not quite sure i bet the eyes are junk i thought maybe it was the sun but the sun's nearly not on them it's got a uh you know whoever did the install did a nice job it's got a nice lift master up there with a it's got the spreader bar um and everything looks good it's got some high lift in it Looks good. I mean, they did a nice install, but I, I, I'm thinking, I bet they thought they had problems, you know, that thing bounced on that wall, because that, that's kind of that's kind of sketchy to me. I just bolt them to the ground from the get-go. But uh, I thought it was kind of cool that somebody took the engineering to another level, and they um, they mounted it like that. But uh, they're not working, so they got to hold the button down. But uh, just kind of cool. I thought it was kind of neat to see how that was, but those eyes are normally junk from the get-go. I never have good luck with them. So, anyways, cool little tidbit. Got their door locked, so that way if the next car pulls in, uh, they gotta use the code to get in, and I know they're not, they're friends, they're not foe. So, all right, back to work. Take care.